Well, hello again everyone. It's uh, Saturday afternoon. It's actually quite late Saturday afternoon. Spent much of the day uh, out having a nice walk with Mia. Very enjoyable. But uh, now we're back and it's time to crack on with the brakes if we can. And as uh, I always remind you, I am not a trained or qualified mechanic. These videos are not intended to be tutorials, as you'll probably tell as it goes along. But uh, if you are considering working on your own brakes and you're not confident to do so, it may be better to contact a qualified mechanic. These are just vlogs for your entertainment as you follow us trying to keep our 1990 motorhome on the road. And many thanks to all those people who commented on the last video with sort of helpful hints and suggestions to get those uh, flare unions undone without damaging the nut. Uh, there's three main suggestions really. Uh, one is to shim out the 11mm spanner. Uh, one is, is to file out the 10mm spanner. And uh, Chaz also suggested that uh, thermocouple spanners uh, often come slightly oversized. So I have obtained these. These were listed on Amazon as thermocouple spanners. Uh, I had to buy a set. But it has got a 10 mil in it. So uh, we'll try that out and see if that does in fact fit. Now before we... Uh, seriously try to undo the nut once we've decided which of these methods we're going to use i'm going to apply some heat as well um because that is another suggestion obviously a good suggestion that often helps so a bit of heat just to expand everything and let the penetrating oil get into those threads a bit more nicely right so i'm here at the uh, unions with this spanner which is uh certainly listed as a, a thermocouple spanner but unfortunately yeah that 10 mil is just just not big enough and uh, let's try the 11 mil because it does come with an 11 mil yeah again that's got rather too much movement i think now this is the case that those spanners come in. You can see it doesn't actually say thermocouple spanner on it, it just says flare nut spanner. And I know Nielsen are an automated brand, so it may be that uh, although they were listed as thermocouple spanners, they're not actually what Chaz was suggesting. So anyway, we've got to try one of the other methods. Now, I have spent quite a bit of time on Google looking for information on this and it seems like I'm not the only person to have this problem. Found several questions on different forums, not just for this type of van but for all sorts of vehicles where people have not managed to find the right size spanner for their flare nuts. Um, nuts that should be 10 millimeter are slightly bigger uh, and it does seem that there is a this common thing that, that the nut is somewhere between 10 mil and 11 mil and uh, doesn't really fit any imperial sizes either. And uh, people come up with different solutions to this, much the same as the suggestions I've had. And a lot of people have just ended up graunching them off with uh, mole grips or whatever and replacing the hard brake line. Now replacing the hard brake line is an option, of course, we can do that. I don't have a brake line flaring tool, so it would mean yet more purchases off the internet, no doubt, to get uh, the right brake line uh, flare nuts and a flaring tool. So I'd rather avoid that if I can, because the brake lines do look in excellent condition. They don't, don't look that old. Possibly somebody's done them fairly recently, and that might be why the nut is the wrong size or a unknown size. Uh, it's been hinted at in a couple of uh, posts and suggestions that uh, 
some of these nuts coming from uh, non-OEM locations might be weirdly sized. Anyway, the option I've chosen, because I've potentially got quite a lot of these to undo, I guess, uh, is to try and file down the 10mm spanner slightly. So uh, I'm going to use the, the spanner that I bought as a thermocouple spanner and just try and uh, file it down using some needle files to see if I can get it to spot on the right size. Right, I think I have now got a spanner that fits pretty snugly on there. Right, well to give me the best chance, I'm going to try and uh, get those as clean as I can so I'm not fighting against any crud doing it. So I've got some more brake cleaner and uh, young Cameron's toothbrush to uh, clean these up a little bit. I could take these spring clips off that hold the assembly in place, but uh, I don't know if that's the right thing to do because then it'll be sort of flopping around a bit. It might be a little bit harder to get proper purchase on. Let's see what I mean by these brake lines being in very good condition. Right, let's uh, get the heat gun and the plus gas. Starting to round off that nut. Oh dear. Yeah, it's really not wanting to uh, come undone this. Rounded that off. Ah, it. Oh dear. Let's pop these spring clips off anyway. Well, I have to say, they are now mullered. So I think we're into replacing the 
the brake line, really. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> we're still trying to do this. Um, it's just properly corroded in, isn't it? Well, I've had another couple of goes at that uh, that I didn't film. I've been uh, working on that for quite some time, trying to get it undone with the mole grips and with more heat, more penetrating oil. Just not moving. It's uh, it's like it's welded in there. If you followed the channel, you know we've uh, undone some pretty stubborn stuff uh over the years but uh this is this is something special and of course that nut is brass so uh it's very easy to round it off uh which indeed is it's now pretty mullered so it's a job to get a grip on it with anything much i have seen these super wrenches mentioned these sort of wrenches that self-tighten um i could try that but i haven't got any so that means going and buying yet more tools uh which may not work. So, uh, as I see it, I've really got uh, two choices. I can continue trying to work on these, trying to uh, get them undone. Uh, the nuts are a bit mullered. I mean, I could, if I got them undone, possibly still reuse the brake lines. It's not ideal having a rounded off nut on them. It just it leaves a problem for someone else in the future, even if I can get them tight and uh, not leaking. Uh, or I could possibly just cut the lines there and there and uh, make up some new hard lines. Now, as I've already said, that gives me a problem because I haven't actually got uh, the tools to do that. So I'd have to buy the tools to do that, which is not a massive problem. I'm, I'm happy to do that. But uh, there is another issue. And that's that I've, I've traced where the lines go. It, it's kind of hard to, to show you. You probably won't see very well. But they, they come up here and they, they sort of go around there. And obviously one comes up to the master cylinder here. But the other one goes across to the other wheel. So to replace that, I'm going to be working on both wheels at the same time. And unfortunately, where the van is parked, it's going to be uh, difficult to do that. Now it's starting to get dark now and uh, I think uh, there's not going to be much point trying to cut those lines and remove those hoses. All I'll do is I'll get the old hoses off and then I'll be stuck. Uh, I'm not going to be able to replace uh, the lines because I haven't got the stuff to do it. So I think we're a bit stuck for any further progress on this. Uh, I'm not confident really I'm going to get those undone without absolutely butchering them might have another little go tomorrow but I think tonight I'm going to have a look and uh, see what I can get in terms of a brake line flaring tool some some connectors and some brake line I've actually got some copper brake line uh, in the garage here but this is ancient this is uh, stuff I bought when I had uh, a Triumph Dolomite many many years ago so uh, I'm not sure that's uh, gonna be possible to be used uh, I, I guess it's probably, uh, I mean, it's copper line. It's uh, probably copper line in the van, I think. So uh, I don't know, but I'll probably order some fresh stuff anyway, just to be sure. Anyhow, there is something I can get on with. And uh, you remember, I put that little red stripe around the inside of the wheel and it didn't really work very well. The uh, red uh, paint that I used was the brake color paint and it uh, didn't like the black smooth light paint and pickle so I'm just going to rub that uh, off with some uh, some sandpaper and uh, redo the black on the wheel
Well, it's uh, Sunday now and uh, I looked quite a bit last night at uh, various different brake pipe flaring tools and uh, asked around a little bit and a lot of people had cautionary tales of the cheap ones uh, not making the flares very well and uh, generally being a little bit uh, not very good. Uh, although a lot of people did recommend the Halfords kit, which is not that expensive. Uh, people did seem to like that. Uh, but most people were recommending the more expensive tools, which are over £100 or so. So significant investment in, in tools there for something that I may not use very often. So I had a look about and I found that coastal motorhomes actually sell a whole set of brake lines already made up for the Talbot Express uh, and Citroen C25, Peugeot J5, all that sort of thing. It listed specifically my van in the vehicles that it was suitable for. So I've actually ordered that. Uh, so we should be able to just drop those straight in. Obviously they'll need bending to the right shape. They're not uh, pre-bent like that, that would be very difficult for the postman to deliver, I guess. That looks like they just come coiled at the right length with the ends made up. So we will need to get them into the right shape, as it were. So that's what I've done anyway. And that, they were, I think, about £130 for the full set. This full set for the whole vehicle. So <laughs> given the way this job is going, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up using most of them. Um, yeah. But uh, anyway, that, that will leave me hopefully prepared to finish the job. So yeah, look out for the next video in this exciting series. Uh, apologies if there wasn't really much real progress in this one. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. Ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.